Right. So <clears throat> we're just going to have a look at some of um, the different cultures I've got growing on um, privet or small leaf privet. Um, some of them are rough cut chunks that have been put in the pressure cooker and other ones are uniform dowels that I've made for plugs. Um, so one of the first ones I tried was um, lion's mane and that's an American lion's mane um, it's pretty much fully colonized um, I'll see if it'll fruit out of the jar and next um, I only did these a couple of days ago they are the native lion's mane um, on uniform dowels that I've made out of privet branches um, this one is the native lion's mane uh, that was my first test and I just used a couple of small pieces of agar uh, to inoculate it and then this one's rough cut chunks um, that's the American lion's mane so it's still colonizing you can see the grain spawn I've used to inoculate it um, this one is the native shiitake so, uh, on, on dowels that's also using a couple of agar wedges um, I'll do some more with grain spawn soon and this one what do we got that's the Japanese shiitake uh, also using agar wedges um, which is a bit slower than using grain spawn not as aggressive and then uh, King Strephoria so let's see they're just starting to attach to the privet so that'll be interesting to observe and um, Agrisib Agriata or poplar mushroom using grain spawn on privet chunks um, also trying Lepista nuda so I've got an agar plate and I've just put privet dowels on the top to see if it'll colonize that's only early days uh, and some bigger bags that's the native lion's mane on chopped privet chunks and the last one is a noki or a native flamulina on the privet chunks that's only a couple of days old but it's starting to attach as well So I'll do an update down the track, see how they're going, uh, hopefully we'll get them to fruit.